I can't believe we are finally doing a Disney cruise. It's Haley back with another travel vlog. If you are new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. I've been in the hotel industry for 15 years. I own a hotel sales support company and I've been travel blogging for about, I think five or six years now. So I'm finally going on my first Disney cruise. My husband found a very good rate. I've always been skeptical because they're so much more expensive. We do love going to Disney World. So this is going to be honest reaction i've done enough research to kind of know what's going on but you know i kind of have some some reservations like i love the disney stuff but i'm a, you know wondering if it's going to be a little too kiddish i mean i expect it to be kiddish it's a family line but like i'm truly interested in seeing what the adult options are like on board and honestly what the difference is compared to other family lines so this particular cruise is a three night Halloween sailing out of Miami on the Disney Dream. So this was our boarding process. It was really smooth, quick and easy, especially if you do everything ahead of time. Yay! After we did this, we quickly got our muster done so that we could just start enjoying our cruise. I did a spa tour. Here's a sneak peek to our room. I will be doing a full room tour, so don't forget to subscribe and watch for that. All right, we just finished a little swimming. Now we're gonna go to an animation class. Yeah, I love animation. And then we checked out the pool deck area, did a little swimming. Three, two. All right, here we go. The first one is as no light. Then you can take this line as a point of reference that you have on your papers. Olivia loved these animation classes. Around the ship there were different little decorations just like these cute windows for Halloween throughout the ship. It was so cute. Salo, it was beautiful out of Miami as always. We watched the Golden Mickey show, which was the first show of the night. I highly recommend that all the entertainment on board. My God, look at this sunset, how beautiful. So Golden Mickey is super cute. I'm not gonna lie, I cried. We'll unpack that later. But I wasn't anticipating liking it. I was almost gonna blow it off. I'm really glad I didn't. Oh, what's happening? Be scared. I won't smile. 
not right. So rise up your voices. Let me hear a loud scream. After this, it was time for dinner at Animator's Palette. This was very cute. Now keep in mind, if you've watched other Disney videos, they don't do the drawings anymore. It's more Finding Nemo themed. If you cannot scan the QR code, they will give you a hard menu. The dinner here was pretty good. Olivia thoroughly enjoyed hers. And this is one of two places, as you'll see by the end, that you can get a Mickey's Premium Bar. It is on the kids menu in here. And you can also get it via room service, even though it's not on the menu. But like I said, food was actually really good in here. This actually might have been my favorite menu. Now keep in mind the menus are the same across the dining rooms. You just rotate dining rooms. Olivia, turn around look at me with it. Birdie. Then we went back to another animation class. Why are you doing it like a hunchback? <laughs> I know. Chip, chip, chip. I love that. Do you want to hand it to you, okay? What was your name? Bridget. Bridget. Oh. Hey. Yeah. How is your Disney knowledge? The percentage out of 100, what would you give yourself? Ninety percent. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Well. Uh, yes. Wakanda forever. Yes, it is. Olivia, you are the winner of a Mickey medallion. Thank you. That was fantastic. Say thank you. Do you say thank you? Thank you. <laughs> say thank you to him. Toodles. Shake it up, Toodles. Let's see it. I am winner! <laughs> Olivia was so excited about that medal from trivia, I can't. So Jeff is taking her back up to a dance party and I am doing my skincare and I ordered room service, so... So I wasn't really... I don't know what this... I wasn't really expecting this to be that different than other lines, and to a degree it's not thus far. I'm gonna say thus far. But 
we went to that show. And up until that point, you know, I thought the buffet was kind of comparable quality wise to like Royal Caribbean sailing. I mean, they did have a cold seafood bar, which was nice, but you know, Royal has more like international fare. So it's kind of on par. Um, the adults area was nice, but the difference kind of hit me during that Golden Mickey show that I mentioned earlier. I actually thought about skipping it. And watching my daughter during this, and you know, I had that hesitation thinking like, oh my God, she's 12. Um, even though she loves Disney World and going, like, is this gonna be her thing? And just seeing Rapunzel, her sing along, just be so excited. Like, I cried, I cried, I did, I know it's kind of lame. I loved going to Disney World a lot as a kid and even as my husband and I have been together, but I never considered myself a full-on Disney doll. I love the experience being in that Disney bubble. I love the theming of the hotels, but you know, like I don't spend all my vacation money on just Disney World. So I guess that's where I draw that line. But watching Disney through your kid's face and the feelings is just it's a whole nother level and I just, I couldn't help but like well up in tears because I mean Disney just does entertainment like right, like nobody can touch Disney's entertainment. They're all feel good, happy feelings. The performers were fantastic. I'm really looking forward to Beauty and the Beast tomorrow night, but that, that kind of hit me and I'm sure we'll unpack it even more as... <laughs> I'm sure we'll unpack that even more as we keep going through this sailing, so. Oh my god, guys. This bed is so comfortable. Best cruise bed ever. The real MVP right here. You can order these out of room <laughs> service. And some wings. And this, my friends, is a dream. <laughs> Good night. Now off to Castaway Key. Good morning. We're going to have breakfast at Royal Palace because I love me a sit down breakfast. Mm. I just prefer to do a sit down breakfast. How's the donut? And then a bowl of some of, of some of Olivia's favorites. Yes, please. What is this? getting off. All right, we are off the ship. Now once off the ship, you do have an option to walk or ride a tram. It was so hot and humid, we rode the tram. Didn't need to sweat in my swimsuit before I got to the beach. There's a few little shops right here where you can get some Castaway Key souvenirs. Very cute, there's characters out for meet and greets. I personally felt bad for the characters in this heat. But this was a beautiful beach island. It, it kind of reminded me of Royal Caribbean's old Coco Cay before they renovated it. So we just finished snorkeling, snorkeling, snorkeling. Um, it is so fun. They have like a sunk Dumbo ride carriage out there. They have like a Prince Eric, sunken Mickey. They have a submarine from 20 Leagues. Submarine. It's so cool. Um, so typically we bring our own snorkel gear, but since it was just a three night, we didn't want to pack the extra, have any extra baggage in essence. So we rented here. Won't do that again. The gear, the gear was kind of very hit or miss. Like my mask leaked. Jeff's snorkel was bad. So I, not our favorites, but um, you do get the rental for the whole day. Um, but I mean, it's gorgeous. Like what you see? Let us book your next Disney cruise for you. Can I turn this way?
I could see the the swimmer moves, her technique. I was like, that's Livy coming back in. Are these not the freaking cutest things? I mean, Olivia got a mango, so he kind of looked like Luffy, but they're so cute. Friend. Friend. <laughs> What's in it? Mango. Then it was lunchtime. Here is what you can expect for lunch. Now, the menu is the same on both sides. You go up, you get a tray. There's chips, there's different salads, hot dogs, hamburgers, barbecue. I will say the ribs were actually really good and so was the chicken. Here's the dessert selection, plus there is soft serve ice cream. We played a little bit of basketball before heading back to the ship because it was pirate night. So we had to go get ready to get our pirate on. Now, if you have kids or handicap accessibility, they do have the beach strollers and wheelchairs. We made it back on board. Now we are doing some face masks and waiting for a little room service snack before we go out again. What? <laughs> My booty. <laughs> no, I'll never say it like that. No. So it's almost time for Beauty and the Beast and it's pirate night. Yar! It was phenomenal and then it was time to eat dinner in the enchanted garden like i said this was pirates night and they do put pirate bandanas in the room in case you don't bring a costume you don't have to it's not mandatory the food in here was good this night except i think the other menu was better except the tuna here was really really good that was probably my favorite thing of the night <laughs> Actually, I take that back. The sea bass was my favorite entree, the whole sailing. I almost forgot about it till I was doing this voice overview. Caramel custard. With a clip, it's gonna open. What do you say? You throw it in the room and fly it. Do you see it? No, not doing good anymore. But one thing is very important. I would like to. And then it was time for a pirate party out on the deck. I went back to the room. In the room, there is on-demand Disney movies that are complimentary with your sailing. I ended up watching Sister Act, because why not? The next morning, we had breakfast. This was NASA. Livy and I opted to stay on board, but I highly recommend doing the sit-down breakfast in the Royal Palace. Really enjoyed that. Here's kind of what you can expect for lines for some of the characters, which is a lot less compared to a park. If you stay on board, there's usually less people in the pools and stuff, but here is Olivia. 
doing her basketball warm-up and workouts. That's the current favorite activity for her. So while she works on this, one of the things that I wanted to kind of reflect on since this was our last day is if you're going to do a three-night Disney sailing, just know you're not going to be able to get to everything on this ship in three nights. It was so hard to pick and choose plus spend time to relax. So pick out your favorites and kind of stick to them and don't be sad that you can't get to all of them because this is a great preview to see if you like the Disney method. Now I will say overall, I wouldn't say it was above and beyond some of the other family lines, but if you are a Disney family, the Disney touch is worth it. Here we go, Toons Trivia. While Olivia did another animation class and some trivia, I went up to the spa and did the thermal suite. It was $89 for two people for a three night cruise, which is a really great value. I actually think out of all the cruise lines I've been on, this thermal spa was hands down my favorite. Um, the showers were great, the different saunas, the facilities were just absolutely top notch. This is what you can expect in the locker rooms up at the spa. Then of course there was another animation class later that day. You'll notice the trend with Olivia. And then it was room service and get ready for Halloween. All right, we made it to the theater and we are dressed for Halloween. Time to watch the leave. It's dinner time in the royal palace. Cause she the queen. That is not your dinner. It was time for dinner. I love escargo. Olivia calls it escarno, but this venue is beautiful. It's the royal palace where we've been eating breakfast the last two mornings. Thoroughly enjoyed it. The beef tenderloin was great. The souffle was great. Highly recommend this menu. Uh, this is the second favorite out of the entire sailing overall. Aside from that sea bass, I can't believe I forgot to mention that sea bass to all of you. Later this night, after the Halloween party, we went to the adults only area. This is called the district. There's different bars. This is pink. It's the champagne bar. They have different champagne, champagne cocktails. And as soon as you sit down in pink, you are greeted with some cute treats, some chocolate truffles and macarons, which was so adorable. I really enjoyed this area. And honestly, upon reflecting, you could actually go on a Disney cruise if you love Disney, but don't want to be around a bunch of kids and actually not see that many kids. If you get a room near the district, get a spa pass, which is adults only, and choose to eat in the specialty dining at Remy or Paolo, which is adult only, you could truly not see a bunch of children overall. Here's the Skyline Bar. There was also the outside patio right before this. This was a really neat bar. I wish I had more time to do these, but again, I made choices. This is the nightclub area. There's different contests and trivia. During the day, you will see kids there because they host different trivias. And then there is a late night buffet for the adults back here. We're talking like coconut shrimp, not just basic food. Jeff did the beer package. We're going to talk about that more in another video, but there is a pub style bar. Here's that live singing venue again. And then unfortunately, it was time to go to sleep. But Disney Cruise, highly, highly recommend. And now we're done.